Hi guys and welcome to Calculator Tutorial Developed in Java 19. So let me show you guys how this works. Play that. So let's say 7 to 3 multiplied by 2. There we go. Divide that by maybe 89. There. And we can backspace. There we go, guys. Look at that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Java Admin Development Environment and we'll put one of these together. And for your information, this is DJ Omen's second channel. Let's do that now, guys. Hi, guys, and welcome to Java Admin Tutorial for Calculator. Let's start by clicking on New Project, File New, and select Java with and select Java Application, click on Next. And let's give that a name. I'm just going to call it Calculator. And right here, Let's uncheck the main class. There we go. Click on finish. Now the project is ready there. So let's right click on that very project in Java right there. And let's select JFrame form. Click on that. And JFrame form, I'm just going to give it a name. I'm going to call it calculator as well. There we go. The package name is going to be calculator. There we go. There. And the one inside there disappears once you give the package name. If I show that to you, there's a one inside here advising you to give the package name. There we go. Click on finish. Okay, my development environment is ready. I'm going to right click on it now. Let's select set layer. I will select, then select absolute layer. There. And let's just define the size that much i think that would be good enough for me and let's go straight to the palette here click on that i now need let's say we grab hold of a text field here paste that right here let's extend it that much all right and the next thing is we need buttons grab a button here paste it right there okay i'm going to right click on this button and just copy it copy and paste let's select both buttons copy paste all right looking good I'm going to select all of the buttons, copy, paste. Select it all and paste. Then we need one more, just one more row. Copy and paste there, drag it here. Okay, guys, now that that is ready, let me select the text box and get rid of the text content in there. And I will also increase this font size to make that bold about 24. And I would also like to align it to the right. So right here where we have the horizontal alignment, get it centered. Right. Now let's take care of this button, get rid of the text content on it, and make that 24 as well. There we go, just resize that. There. And I'm going to repeat the same thing for the rest buttons. So I'm going to delete all of the text here, so just come in here, let's do that at once. It's going to affect the width, so let's come right down here. I think the width is about 74. So let's change that to 74. There we go. All taken care of. Now, individually, this very first one, I'm going to change the text content on it to, let's go for 7. Okay, let's make that bold. We need to change the font size, everything to 
about 24 fonts. Let's come down here. Right, so that's fine. And this one will be eight. Nine. And this is going to be plus sign. So traction sign underneath here. And here we have six. Five. I have four here. I guess you guys get the whole idea. I'm going to speed that up. That is it. All done. So let's take care of the red symbol. So I'm going to come in here. Let's select this one first. Undo that move. Come straight in here. And maybe I should copy the backspace from my Eclipse here. Yeah, just copy that, minimize that, and let's paste it right inside the text property here. And make sure you also change the font type to wingings. Okay, that's it, that's the font type there. All right, that's that done. Let's come in here. The next one is going to be CE for clear, and let's change this one to C and here I'm just gonna make that maybe plus minus let's just say plus slash minus there we go oh let's change that to let's see I think the font size might be too small okay one thing let's copy that online so i'm going to come in here just copy the plus sign plus minus sign and uh, let's go back to my system here and just change that to plus minus there that's all right okay now let's give individual component a name so we can even right click on that and select variable name that's going to be j txt let's call that results there we go JTXT result and this is going to be BTN JBTN BTN backspace and so on guys this one is going to be JBTN clear all we have clear here JBTN C and here that's going to be JBTN PM. The number that's going to be JBTN, let's say digit seven. Okay, copy that. We have JBTN digit eight here. digit 9 and this is JBTN let's say plus there so I'm gonna speed that up guys okay guys let's start work with the coding so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a function that will take care of these buttons so let's click on the source here and right here that's perfect I'm going to let's copy this private function here private void and I'm just going to change that to maybe enter numbers there we go and that is going to be of a string character and I'm just going to call it Q and let's enter curly braces there now I'm going to declare another string character that I will call nums nums is going to take in every single value that comes in from JTXT result and that is supposed to be my text area dot get text 
add tab parentheses and I will then enter this very variable in there plus Q enter semicolon now and I want to assign value and numbers straight into my text area so let's come down here paste that underneath here and just change this to s so which means i want to set the value the string character straight in here there we go and enter semicolon that is it check out this simple line of code that's going to take care of every single number digit in there i'm going to copy that so let's go back in here and double click on or right click on seven select event action and action perform right inside event i'm going to paste that and i'm now going to open a parenthesis and quote then enter number seven there let's come out of it and just there we go that takes care of seven so if i run it now let's save that first run or compile and run click on run and right there i'm going to click on seven look at that you see now that, that makes life easier for us okay let's repeat the same thing for button number eight double click on eight let's get rid of this and paste that in there there we go change the value to eight i'm going to repeat the same thing for the other buttons nine and that becomes nine get rid of that i'm going to copy this okay click in here and just enter nine six enter six in there then we have five there four repeat the same thing one paste that in there enter one in there two okay repeat exactly the same thing three there we go and finally zero there we go enter zero now let's just compile and run now click on run there we go decision time we have a zero two we can now enter whatever digit we want to enter all right that's fine so exit out that's good okay guys let's take care of these other buttons now let's have a go at the operators double click on this very one there however in the case of the operators we have to declare some variables first of all let me just scroll right up here and i'm going to declare some variables let's see and right underneath here let's go for double and that is going to be i'm going to call that number let's say number enter one that's my very first variable and the next one is going to be number enter two and so on so copy that that will be two and so i'm going to change this one to two now enter number two and this one is going to be let's just call this result okay then finally i'm going to create one for string character i'm going to call that op that's that stands for operator that's fine okay so now i can go ahead with the 
operators. So let's double click on the division. So with the division that I'm going to use as follows. Let's say that was number enter. Number enter one. That is going to be equals double dot. I would like you to pass whatever. Yeah, there we go. That is it right there. Pass double. And what we are passing is J T X T. I think result is called dot get the text that we have inside result and enter semicolon right here. Now we need to clear it since we've entered some value in there. So the value that we added is stored right inside number enter one. And now let's clear that particular text box. So I'm going to just clear that. Let's change this to S. Now, OP equals division. And that is it. I think it's in uppercase. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's in uppercase. Okay, I'm going to change it to lowercase. Right, OP. So that is fine now. There we go. So I'm going to copy that and use that for the others. Now, double click on multiplication, paste that in there, and change the operator to multiply. Okay, that's fine. Let's repeat the same thing for the other two operators. That is subtraction. Let's do that again. Double click and come right here. Subtract, paste. And changes to that. Then the next one is addition. Paste. There we go. That will become addition. There. All right, all taken care of. Let's save that. Now, let's take care of this very one. I'm going to copy this. Let's take care of the clear function here. Double click on clear and just paste that in here. There. What about this very clear here? Double click on that. In the case of this very clear, I'm going to do something. Let's come in here. Clear it first, and I will declare the following. So I'm going to call that first num, comma, second num. All right. Now we want to assign those two values. So first num, that will be equals string dot value of. And that value is that first num. Okay. Now we're going to repeat the same thing for the other one. Copy that, paste that underneath here, and let's change this to s. And this is number two. Okay. Now that we assign whatever value we have inside these two variable into my string character local variable here i will now clear the local variables let's come down here and get them cleared so that we actually clear the whole system and repeat the same thing for the other one there we go and that should take care of clear okay that will clear whatever entry we have in there now save okay that is taken care of now let's take care of the plus minus here double click on plus minus and let's move that up a little bit so in the case of the plus minus let's start by saying double uh, let's say operators no let's go for 
numbers with an S equals double dot pass. And what are we passing in there? That is going to be whatever data we have inside. Okay, let's copy all of this. Whatever data we have inside the text box itself, so paste that in here and grab the text box and paste it right in here. Enter semicolon there and just close that off. There we go. Now press enter. Now, what we want to do is we now want to get this very number. I'm going to say number equals number. We then multiply that by minus one. So logically speaking, whatever you multiply by minus is minus. So the value is stored in here. So let's grab this text box then to store number inside the text box. Come right down here, paste and change this one to S. And what we're storing in there now is going to be number, but it has to be converted though. Number, let's get it converted. I'm going to copy all of this, convert it to string character. And close that off. There, that should take care of the plus minus for you guys. Look at that. Now, close that. So just save that actually. Let's come in here. We've taken care of all of the operators. We just have one, two, three to go. Double click on the backspace. Double click on that. And come right here. Get rid of all of these. Delete. With the backspace, so let's start by declaring the following string i'm going to call that bs that will be equals nothing there now using an if statement if j txt result dot get text okay dot length grab this lens here and is greater than zero then we want as follows let's use this uh, object called string builder string builder I'm gonna call that SB that's the name of the instance equals new string builder and the string builder is going to take in the following values let's say gets jtxt get as follows and that now for the string builder, we now want it. You know, we want to use the string builder to delete whatever character. So I'm gonna say sb dot delete character at right in here. Paste that in there, and I say dot length with minus that say minus one there we go okay now sb no no not sb bs bs that will be equals sb this can be confusing let's change this bs space let's change it to bk yeah, BK. I'm gonna change this to BK as well. It's gonna get confusing if I don't do that. All right. Yeah, 
BK backspace, okay. Or we can just put in back backspace, okay. That's more pronounced. All right, change this to backspace. Backspace equals spring builder dot to string. So we just converted that to string and task semicolon in there. And now we now want to assign this backspace into the text box. Grab all of that. Paste that underneath here. Changes to S. So grab the backspace and just assign it. There we go. All done. That should take care of my backspace. But let's try it out though. Save run all right enter some value in there backspace that's cool now let's try this one out yeah that's fine there okay what about the plus minus brilliant okay now we just have one two to go exit out now back to the design view double click on Okay, decimal, get rid of that. And with the decimal, I'm going to use an if statement if the following is inside or not. Not. If JTXT is not, let's grab all of this here and just change it around to get. That becomes get. If JTXT dot get text dot contains that contains the following character there we go which is a decimal place then we now want jtxt to set as follows dot set so get whatever value we have in here and set it right inside the text box itself so enter that and plus we now need the this very button here we grab that paste that in there and we say dot get text enter semicolon that should take care of my decimal place yeah, I think that is correct. No error. So I'm going to save that. Let's run it as well. Run. Okay. All right. Let's just enter whatever in there. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Working as expected. All right. That is it. Now, finally, let's take care of equals. Double click on equals. Okay. With the equals. Let's get rid of this and we'll say number two or the variable num enter two equals we say double dot pass. And what are we passing? We're passing whatever we have right in here. Grab that. I just paste it in here. And toss a call. Now let's use an if statement to check out the operator. So if operator equals equals the plus sign, then we want as follows result that will be equals num one number one entered plus number two entered oh let's check this out is it uppercase or what let's go up there okay it's uppercase come back down here there we go now but i need to store that straight inside here so i'm going to grab all of this now let's grab this one 
grab that and paste it right underneath here. But that still needs to be converted. So to convert it, let's go for string. String dot value of and that will be results. And there. So that takes care of my addition. Now we're going to copy all of that. Let's use that now for the subtraction using else if. Paste that in there. Changes to subtract. And this will become subtract as well. Now let's go for multiplication. Paste and change that to multiply. There we go. Multiplication is taken care of as well. And finally, we take care of division. Right there, guys. And that's it. That's your calculator taken care of. And please do subscribe to my channel, this very second channel of mine. All right, I'm going to click on run. Let's save it first before we run it. So just for your information, this is DJ Omen's second channel. Please, guys, subscribe to this channel. So let's say 5 multiplied by 3. There. Let's get that divided by 8. Plus minus. Clear everything. Let's say 8 multiplied by 9. No, clear that. Multiply by 3. 24. That is correct. Backspace. Backspace. Add 4. Plus 9. There we go, guys. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. And you all have a nice day now. And bye for now.